Hi everyone. Um, if you follow me on my personal Facebook, you know what happened in the phone call that I got at around 5 a.m. this morning. And you're probably thinking, well, Lord, why is she doing a video? But I'm going to go into that. And I'm going to go inside now because somebody's doing some work. And um, I'll finish the video. Come on, let's go inside. Okay, hopefully this is better. The lighting in this room is horrible. So I probably will look orange. But um, they're doing some yard work or something. But anyway, I'm going to tell the story and do some updates. Uh, like I just told Heather from the Needy Homesteader, she did a channel update. And I'm like, I'm about to say the same thing. <laughs> so, um, with the problems that I'm having. Um, so, first of all, this morning, it was around 5 a.m. The phone started ringing and it woke me up. And when I turned around and looked, my daughter had answered the phone because she was getting ready for work. And she gives me the phone. She goes, here, Mom, it's important. And um, so I'm like, hello. And it was my husband, um, it, Richard, but we call him Ricky half the time. And um, he said, I'm standing here watching our van burn to the ground. Um so thankfully he wasn't hurt um he had gotten to work and it, it's still night time so when he got out someone said your van looks like it's smoking he said it's just steam coming off of it so evidently it had started but he didn't realize it yet so by the time he gets in there and goes to the back to unlock some doors, he said they got on the intercom and was saying, Richard, get up to the front now. Right now, right now. I need you to get up to the front as quick as possible. This is no joke. Get up here, get up here. Well, he thought they was playing with him because they usually do him that way anyway. So finally they got on the intercom and says, your van is burning to the ground. Get up front now. He's like, really, guys? Not this morning. Let's don't play that trick. So as he was heading up the main aisle, he could see out and he saw it on fire. So he took off running. And uh, so when he called me, my daughter went on to work. And then uh, my son got up and he goes, come on, Mama, we're going up there. So it was still dark when we got up there. And from the damage that we could tell, we're like, oh, my goodness. And here comes Richard pushing a buggy, because he had called. He goes, where are y'all at? And he goes, wait a minute, I see y'all pulling in. He said, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, and I'll meet y'all up there. And, like, from where the van was parked, like, feet away, I mean, because I told Alex, I'm like, don't get close to it. it. It looked like almost something exploded under the hood. Maybe like a battery or something had exploded. Um, because there was stuff in the oil that was all over our feet and stuff. I mean, and we was away from it. So, he came walking up with a buggy of some of the stuff out of the back that he was able to save, like some of his tools and stuff like that. And, um, uh, and it, it all was awful, the smell and everything. So, he's still at work because he's got to wait till they come and tow it off and about a rental car. And my daughter does not work, not even maybe two blocks from where he works. And so when he gets off, he'll get off 30 minutes before she does. So he's just going to walk up there and wait on her. And then she's going to take him to a car rental place down here to see if they have one that our insurance will cover. So, anyway, you know, we're thankful that everyone was okay, and just a lot of things that we've got to handle now. I'm just stressed. I've been crying all morning. Just, it's just a lot of stress and everything, so, got a lot of things to figure out and excuse how I look. So, 
And then I had some um, things to go take care of once me and Alex got back. And it been on the phone and on the phone and on the phone. You know, getting messages. And I'm like, okay, you need to talk to my husband. He's still at work. Texting him, hey, they're about to call you. And it just back and forth. So, and then about my videos, my laptop is kind of old. Now, you see this behind me? This is my son's computer. It's his desktop that he had brought upstairs several months ago because he got him a new laptop. And he knows I like to print the coupons. You know, I'm the couponer and stuff. And I would always use my laptop and then his computer because you get two prints per coupon on each computer. Well, his computer is now having problems. Like the, the tower will come on, but the monitor won't. And then sometimes if you can shut it down and cut it on, it'll come on, but then you don't know how long it's going to stay that way. My laptop is old. Even the keyboard, like half the letters are done and worn off. And I've noticed it's getting a lot slower. And when I'm trying to edit videos, like the screen will turn green. And so I have to stop and close out the whole process, and you have to keep the mouse going. I always attach a mouse to my laptop because Windows 10, I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. You know, you touch the mouse wrong, and the whole screen will get big or shrink. It's awful, so I always use a mouse. And But I have to close out the software, reload the software, re-put the videos in there, and... It's just, it's a pain. It took me days, you know, to just edit the where I won that giveaway. You know, finally I just get tired of closing out the program and reopening the program and everything. And, you know, plus I had to keep checking my email and stuff like that for orders and updating the website and all. So... That's what's going on, and I have a few videos that I've done filmed ahead of time and edited, and one of them is a very old video that I found that I edited, but I never uploaded, it. and it's about making easy fudge, so that may come next, but, and usually I try to schedule it to go in the morning, because it seems like at night time our internet's horrible. I don't know if everybody in the neighborhood gets on it or what. But we've recently updated our equipment and everything. It seems like things is going slower. Anyway, and then there's a few health issues that I'm dealing with. Um, before we went on vacation and I went to the doctor, y'all know I have severe neck problems and the bad foot, you know, from all the messed up surgeries. Well, in my good foot, they suspected that I had gout. And she even wrote on the paperwork, gout. But was going out of town to go on vacation. And then I had a bad flare-up. I've had like two bad flare-ups to where you're just in tears. The pain is unreal. I'd rather have a baby natural again than this pain. So, I have a doctor's appointment. It's in the 1st of November. Around here, you can't... If it's an emergency, you might as well just go to the, a walk-in clinic or the ER because trying to get a doctor's appointment is horrible. And um, so I, I kept telling uh, Ricky, I'm like, before I go to the doctor, I've got to go have fasting blood work done. Finally, he's like, why have you got to have this kind of extensive blood work done? I've been noticing that a lot of times, like, my body hurts. It hurts. Like, some days the thoughts to even get up and to walk across the room is excruciating. It's horrible. And, and my hands and all just, it hurts. I ache. Um, you know, I'm a twin. Well, my twin does have lupus, among other health issues. And so, he says... Tell me why. I'm like, don't worry about it. He says, tell me why. And they're going to be checking for all that. So we're just going to pray that I don't have it. I'm just getting old, <laughs> you know. So, um, that's about all. Um, 
like I say, I have some older videos that I have done edited and stuff that I be uploading. And y'all are my friends, you know. I love y'all, so it's like talking to my friends. My son has left to go to work, and I'm just sitting here. I'm just anxious, you know, to find out more information. You know, what are we going to do and stuff, so it's just I'm anxious and I'm antsy and uh, when I was talking to my friend Tracy this morning, I caught myself pacing just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And so I have things I can be doing, but when I get this way, I, I, I just get like hyper just to stand still and do something. I can't do it. I have to be up doing something. So I actually may go make some bread just so I can just pound the bread and just get out my frustrations. So... Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your love and concern. And just drop my glasses. That's one thing with severe neck problems and to me twirling them didn't help. I drop a lot of stuff. Um, but everything's going to be okay. And everything. So I don't want y'all to think, why is she just telling all of that? You know, y'all are my friends. So why not? And I want to thank everyone for the phone calls and the text. I, I'm surprised my phone ain't going off now, you know, and everything. So, I am just thankful that whatever, because Richard said that they couldn't even put out the fire because the way whatever it was that, like, exploded or blowed up or something buckled the hood. And the fireman was having to use that metal cutter just to try to cut it open to get the fire. And the windshield was busted and buckled out. And it was horrible. It was a horrible sight. So, just, things can be replaced. People cannot. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for your love. And I'm not coming on here for no pity party. Please do not. Y'all are just my friends and I'm just talking to you. So, anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. I've jumped back on real quick to do a prayer request for my YouTube little brother, Big Dude. And I'm sure most of you know him. I'm going to link his channel below. Um, he's been texting me and all. We've been texting each other. And I know that he's been sick and not been feeling good. And his mom's been in the hospital in intensive care. And I just found out... His dad was admitted into the hospital. He had a mini stroke. So y'all please pray for this family. Please, please pray for this family. Uh, for healing and comfort and strength. And big dude, just know that we love you. And we are all here for you. And we are all praying for you and your family. And if you need me, you know how to get in touch with me.